I'm going to show you how to get a suitable rotella for your practice of historical martial arts. I will show you some commercial options for steel or synthetic round shields. And in the end I will demonstrate how to make one by yourself. But first, let us start with what a rotella is. Since the focus of our group lies on the Renaissance Italian tradition, especially the Bolognese system, it is obvious to look at depictions of the contemporary masters in Italy. Here we find a domed round shield about the size of 50 to 60 cm and a strap to the forearm via a strap shortly after the elbow and a second strap for the hand. Mostly both straps were flexible, allowing for the additional usage of the shield arm's hand and the elbow strap may have had some kind of adjustability. The writings of the masters also teach very detailed the usage together with the sword or other weapons. For instance with the one-handed spear or partisan. We already have a video on the teachings of Manchelino describing how they were used together and more to come in the future. Now the question how to get one and what are your options? If your budget is big enough, a custom made one is probably always the most elegant option. Here you are more or less free to choose weight, size etc. However, today I want to talk about more affordable options. The first one is to get a handmade one of one of the Eastern European blacksmiths. These are available between 100 and 200 euros. One example would be the Marshall Historian Steel Dome Drought Shield with a size about 55 cm and at a thickness of 1.6 mm it weighs 3.2 kg and it retails for about 110 euro. There are many similar ones on the market. They all have in common that they are comparable heavy. And especially for beginners or technical focused people, they are not a good option. I would consider everything over 2.5 kg as very heavy. There are also versions with a center boss feature. They also should work fine. But I would favor a more flat dome, keeping the center of gravity in the arm. Nevertheless, with adjustable straps and padding, they are very comfortable to wear, especially if you do not move them too much. The next option is to choose one of the mass-produced steel rotella. An example is from Windler Sparto. It costs about 60 to 70 euros and it is a bit bigger with 59 centimeters. At a thickness of 1.2 mm, it weights only 2.4 kilos. Compared to the first option, this is much lighter. The disadvantages of this is that besides the crafting marks of the industrial machines, it also does not come with adjustable straps nor padding. You can roll in the hand strap for a tighter grip, but not fixing it to the arm results in a heavier feeling of the shield. And the missing additional padding makes it a bit more uncomfortable to wear. Still, if you want to have a steel rotella and you are on a budget, I recommend this one. The next options you have is a non-metal trainer for the Rotella. For instance, the synthetic Rotella from Purple Heart Armory, which is about 61 cm big and weights 2.6 kilos. Mostly these shields can be found only on the US market for around $70. Since we are located in Europe, we have no experience with these simulators. The next option is to buy a polycarbonate riot shield. These can be found on eBay and AliExpress and they are coming from China. They are probably the most cost effective option with around 20 to 30 euros per riot shield including shipping. As I said, they are made out of polycarbonate at around 3 mm thickness and have a size of 55 cm. Compared to the other options I showed you before, they are extremely lightweight with around 1.4 kg. They come with a solid handle. It is fine at the beginning, but I would advise exchanging it with a softer grip out of leather or a piece of belt. With this, you have more options to use the shield hand to carry, for instance, another weapon or use it otherwise. Since most of them are transparent, they require you to paint or cover them to use them proper. But this also allows for a very sturdy paint job since it is on the back side of the shield and you are free to highly customize and decorate them as your creativity dictates. 
and adding a rim to the edges improves the sturdiness as well. A typical critical comment about those are that there is an issue with durability. From personal experience I cannot confirm this. These shields even kept up with tournament level usage, for instance at the last English Sidesword Open. On these events more swords than shield broke. If you consider the pricing, even if they might break after years of usage, they are still very affordable. In addition, the weight makes them probably the safest for training and sparring on this list. So they are perfect for beginners and technical oriented people, but seem to keep up with high level sparring as well. The last option is to make the Rotella yourself. In the United States you can sometimes get those 50 to 60 cm big metal sledges which can be easily adapted as a perfect Rotella simulator. Since they are often made from aluminium they also should not be too heavy. But since we are located in Europe we have no experience with them as well. The probably cheapest option is to get an old satellite dish. But these require some hacking by reshaping it with a jigsaw and then bending the edges for more stability. You should be able to find them on a junkyard for free. They tend to be super light since the sheet metal is only around 0.8 to 1 mm and they will probably weigh around 1 to 2 kilos. On the downside they only make for literal scrapyard rotella which has to be bent into shape after every bout and safety wise you need to be very careful not to leave sharp edges exposed. The next option is to make them out of wood. Making a domed round shield is not a very easy task, but if you already start with a domed dish for instance, it becomes extremely easy. IKEA had this kind of bamboo deco dishes at various diameters. Sadly they stopped selling the big ones with 60 cm, but you can find them very cheap and used on Craigslist and similar sites. This shield costs about 10 euro in materials and is at 60 cm only 2.4 kg heavy. With the multiple layers of fabric they can get very durable. This will be the perfect shield for technical sparring but also for reenactment since domed round shields can be found all over history anyway. What do you need to make one yourself? After finding one of those IKEA bamboo dishes you need to remove the ring on the concave side. This can be done with a sharp blade or spatula. Due to the layered structure, this is quite easy. Remove as much as possible, maybe use a planer and then sand everything until it's smooth. Now to stabilize the wood. A few layers of canvas or linen are glued to both sides with wood glue. I add the velvet inner lining as well. Under the lining I inserted some padding for the arm. Here I used high impact foam which I had left over. But an old yoga mat should do as well. After marking the positions for the straps I will drill holes which then take screws. In an ideal world I would have four of those capped screws. But I only found one so hex bolts will have to do. For the strapping an old belt can help you a lot for the next steps. It not only donates the lever strap for the handle, but you can also use the belt buckle for the adjustable strap. Now I will add some paint, this time just acrylic paint. If you want to know how to make historical accurate paint, check out my other videos on making shields. And it is finished. I hope you enjoyed this overview on different Rotella options. To support us please leave a like and subscribe. Do you have other options to get a domed round shield? Let us know in the comments. Until then, have a wonderful week!